Um, I agree to Michael convince me, um, he's a very presentable person, Michael, he convinced me to yet again speak out about it. I agreed to do an interview with Michael. That subsequently led to Michael um, losing his job at 2UE for doing nothing else than wanting to play an interview which had been cleared by um, 2UE's defamation lawyers for broadcast. Uh, and for some reason, and I hope that this commission may find out that reason, um, Pressure was applied to 2UE management. Graham Mott was the head of 2UE uh, um, broadcasting in those days. Uh, back, back well, it's not that, it was just a short time ago. He's now retired, I understand. But uh, pressure was brought to bear on 2UE, notwithstanding the evidence, notwithstanding defamation lawyers clearing my interview for broadcast with Michael, uh, Michael was faced with a, an alternative either sign this document, Michael Smith, which says you will no longer and in the future never will you revisit this AWU scandal again, never again will you mention the Prime Minister's, uh, Julia Gillard's name in, in respect to this, uh, this scandal. Um, you do that, uh, your job's still safe here. Well, Michael refused to sign that and uh, Michael and the radio station parted ways for editorial differences. Well, I call it sacked. He was sacked. All right. Now, I, I did want to ask you about Mr Nowicki. Is, has Mr Nowicki provided you with any financial or other assistance? Um, yeah. Uh, Harry Nowicki rang me um, during that period in August 2011. He had um, obtained my address off a... Stat deck that I made to Castlemaine Police Station back in uh, around August 2010, just before the federal elections at that time, uh, where I could see that Julia Gillard looked like, um, according to the polls and so forth, looked like being elected by the people as Prime Minister. Well, that horrified me. Mr. Uh, uh, I'm just going to ask you again has Mr. Nowicki provided you with any?